So it's another day, and uh, we're th still camping together, the group. Um, Aja, Carolyn, and Scott and Terry and myself. And they decided they wanted to go to the um, Portland Saturday Market. It's like a big, huge uh, crafts and farmers market kind of thing. So we're going to go do that. Uh, and so I will be back in touch with you guys uh, shortly. All right, bye. And just a reminder that we are in the city, so I sent the drop pin to everybody of where we're going to the Saturday market. And uh, so Carolyn pulled it up on her phone. She said, 42 minutes to get there. It's only 15 miles away, but being in the city, it takes two to three times longer than the actual mileage to get from point A to point B when you're in a city with a lot of traffic. So even though this is Saturday, the freeways are still screwed up, even on a Saturday. So. We got like a 40 some minute drive ahead of us to go 15 miles, so see you there. Hey look guys, it's one of my cousins. So right over there where all those tents are is where we're supposed to be going. Uh, when I came across the river on the Morrison Bridge, however, uh, even though they were right behind me, only a couple car lengths, I think I lost our group. And I was going slow, but unfortunately what happens when you're in a busy metro area like this is it's very easy to get separated, and so I think I lost them. But they all have the drop pins to where we're going, so hopefully they'll all figure out how to get down here. Um, yeah, I looked back and they were behind me, and the next thing I knew they weren't behind me. So the when you cross across the Willamette River into downtown Portland, it, the road splits into a Y, and I think they might have taken the left-hand side of the Y instead of the right-hand side of the Y. So the right takes you into downtown, the left takes you, or the left take, keeps you on the east side of the river, which is on the wrong side of the river from downtown. I bet you that's what happened. So hopefully we'll get reconnected here soon. All right, so we finally made it to our parking spot here in uh, downtown Portland. Magnum, stop. Magnum's trying to eat food off the ground because there's always stuff on the ground when you're in a city like this. Um, and we finally got rejoined with uh, Scott and Terry, Carolyn and Aja and uh, we kind of lucked out on this parking spot. Um, you get just barely out of the downtown area. The spots get a little bit bigger and it's a little easier to park big rigs like mine and Aja's. Uh, so this is, the, this is the steel bridge that we're standing next to. That's the, the um, suspension aspect of the steel bridge there. Uh, actually, there's a portion of the bridge that raises and lowers to let boats through. So that's the steel bridge, and then we're going to be going south of here. Oh, I bet the wind's messing this up. We're going to go south of here to the uh, Burnside Bridge. Oh, he just got the piece of food on the ground. Um, Magnum, come here. We're going to the south of here to the... Magnum, let's go. To the Burnside Bridge, because the Burnside Bridge is where the... Uh, is where the... 
Portland Saturday market is. So yeah. that's what we're doing. Oh, and then there's always a uh, crazy people. I see crazy people everywhere. Alright, is he flirting with the bartender or is it time to go? Okay. Oh, that's where we're going to eat. Go. What are we going to have? Okay, Jay, we're going. Okay. We're going to eat. We're going to find someplace to Everybody eat, get Jay. their cameras. Whose cameras are there? Cameras. I'm just leaving cameras. for a second. Okay. Oh, okay. Walk away. Hey, that's good. Like, maybe I can... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Does this mean we're leaving or what are we doing? <laughs> I know. Yeah, walk away scene. Everybody's shooting video. Mine's just time lapse. What are we doing? Um, are we leaving? Yeah. So we stopped here on the way. This is a gay bar in downtown Portland. And uh, Carolyn's like, oh my god, I want to go in. I want to go in there and get a drink and see some gay people. And I'm like, girl, don't you know gay people don't come out until dark. So I'm like, you know, they won't be here until after it's dark outside and sure enough we go in there and the only one in there is like the bartender so it's like the gays don't come out this early usually all right <laughs> And I was just way back there because she's doing the most filming, so she's lagging behind us. So we only paid for three hours of parking where we parked here, and uh, it's already been at least an hour, and we haven't even gotten to the market yet because everybody's stopping to do this and stopping to do that and stopping to shoot. So this is a very inefficient uh, thing. We should have paid for five hours of parking. Hallelujah. 
Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> He's like, you just took a pancake out of my mouth. <laughs> he was already tasting it. He was already digesting that. Pad Thai with chicken here on the Portland waterfront. It's pretty nice. No rain at the moment, so that's good. <laughs> that's that's animal abuse right there. <laughs> We're gonna get some comments on that. Okay. okay, so Terry here has proposed an amendment to the dog rules. She has proposed a name change. She wants to call Magnum Maximum. Maximum. Not Magnum, but Maximum. <laughs> Come on, come on, buddy. That's right. Maximum. So we're, we're, we're gonna put it up to. That's awesome. So we're gonna put it up to a vote. We're gonna see if maximum passes of the vote. The crane? No, it's a Oh, Feiyu? Is it the one that Eric has? Feiyu? Oh. So, uh, Magnum just decided that he was done walking, that he was really tired. So he plopped here, almost right in the street. <laughs> Partially, I mean, look. Look at relation to Terry and Scott's rig, and he's sticking out beyond them <laughs> into the street. <laughs> It's okay. I'm not going to let anyone hit him. They'll have to hit me before they can hit him. So They would have to hit every one of us because we would all Yeah, so, so nobody us. worry. Plus, I could get his ass up really fast if I had to. So. No, that wasn't crazy. There will be nobody hurt. Hey, look at... Hey, y'all, hey, look over here at these homeless people under the bridge. <laughs> we got homeless. I got homeless and we are bitch. <laughs> I know. I'm just repeating what I'm just repeating what people think about us. <laughs> I tell Terry when I went to get that gallon of gas, you know, walking across the road, and I was just—you see all these people looking, and you just wonder what they're thinking. It's like, no, I just came to get a yeah, gallon of gas like, for my generator. Think, but. You know, because he's coming from from an area that people are staying in their RVs and stuff. Mama. Cars, the mama? And he's got a gas can, and he's walking. One gallon down. gas can going down the road. It's like maybe they don't realize, you know, hey, he just quit work and has a home. And well, it's just you don't know what people, people So apparently the decision has been made that we are going to a uh, Walmart, I guess, south of Portland here for the night. Um, I'm probably not going to continue with the group as of tomorrow, because I think as of tomorrow they are heading south to Salem or something like that. So I'm not sure I'm going to be going with them for that. We'll see. I'm still making up my mind. But uh, for tonight, I guess we're going to go south of Portland to a uh, Walmart down there because a couple of the people need to get supplies. And so that's what we're going to do. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, change of plans. We got to the Walmart down here and we didn't like the vibe. We didn't like the way it felt. So, 
plus it's a pretty small little parking lot and stuff so actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna go further south a little bit to um, a nice rest area that some in our group have been to before called French Prairie it's called French Prairie rest area it's in a, uh, Aurora Oregon so it's a little bit south of Portland so I think that's what we're gonna do for the night instead and uh, so just waiting for Aja to come out of the Walmart here and then we're gonna go ahead and meet the rest of the group down at the rest area where we're probably going to set up camp for the night. And then hopefully, I hope there's internet there because I really need to get some video uploaded. So I hope the internet works there. I guess we'll find out. It is right off of I-5 though, so it should be working fine. I guess we'll find out. Alright. So, imagine this, we're in um, the Northwest and hey, it's raining again, what do you know? Uh, this is why so many of us want to escape the Northwest and climates like this, because of just how ugh, soggy it is. So this is the area we stayed in last night, it's a uh, uh, rest area along I-5 and it's really quite nice it's very treed as you can see and uh, it's really big there's like uh, I think there are four parking lots here so there's one way over there there's the one we're in and then there's two more over there uh, so it's a really big campground this is just south of Portland um, and I think what's called Aurora Oregon. Uh, I don't remember the name of this specific rest area, but it's just, it's in Aurora, just south of Portland. And, uh, oh, there's Stanley and Magnum. Kitty. Hello, kitty. And there's Magnum. And I'm doing a, a little editing, so that's what's going on up there. I've got a video getting ready to go up uh, today, so I'm just editing that. And then, uh, it's that come that time where everybody's getting uh, well the rest of them anyway are getting itchy feet so they're ready to go so I think we are probably going to part company today uh, I believe what's going to happen is that they are going to head south from here uh, Scott and Terry have family south of here and then of course uh, Aja and Carolyn are traveling with them so I actually have to head back to the Portland area, or you know, just head back north. It's only about, it's only about 40, well, depending on traffic, it's about 40 minutes north of where we're at right now. So I have to head uh, back north because I've got some stuff I've got to get done uh, this week in Portland. So I am probably not going to go south with them, even though they keep asking me to. <laughs> They're trying to drag me south with them, um, and I get that. I actually would like to, but... I've got some business I've got to take care of, so if I'm going to go south this winter, I've got to get some stuff taken care of this next month, the month of October. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get all that taken care of. Uh, so yeah. Let's go see what they're up to. Hello, Mamu. Hello, baby. Oh, such a good dog. Oh, it was such a good help. dog. They, 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 I, you said before, they laugh about... Oh, not outside. Oh, Kevin. oh, because of the plastic. Don't do them outside. <laughs> they're not UV-rated. Well, they're not. Well, I didn't know they were dull. They were. I have UV-rated ones. Carolyn is ones. fixing the noise that all of right. her... Well, you uh, oh, yeah. Wires are rattling. I have UV-rated ones. Okay. 
for the outdoor. I'll get them right now. What's going on? Oh, We're okay, going to fix so the wires. Oh. So save those. So these are not for outdoors. Yeah, she must video. It's a requirement. I don't care about the UV, whatever. <laughs> There's the camera. But wait for Aja to get hers. Because hers are correct. <laughs> you know this is... <laughs> you get this many YouTubers together. <laughs> everyone has to be coordinated. Alright, we can't start filming until everyone's got their cameras out. <laughs> okay. when wait, you gotta wait for Aja. When I'm driving down the freeway... Why don't you stand on this? And I'm, You're going to get a whole lot of help from all the boys. <laughs> that's not okay. Okay. okay, let her be. <laughs> and the wind does this. And it sounds like I'm getting beat with a stick when I'm doing that. Oh, uh, those are trolls. And, oh, oh they're, the trolls are <laughs> The being, noise is the trolls. Oh, the noise. They're running So, running I am going to... All right, well, she's doing that. I don't need to take over her video how-to, her how-to video, so while she's doing that, I'm going to come over here and check on Stan, man. Neither one of them should leave the rig, but I uh, I don't leave him unsupervised, so I'm, that's why I'm checking, just to make sure. Are you being a good boy? Yeah. You are being a good boy? All right. Uh, so my video is rendering, it's got, it's going to be a while, it's probably going to be like 40 minutes or something for it to finish rendering. Uh, I'm sorry, she's already done. Is she? <laughs> you know how Carolyn is, she is not waiting for anybody. She's like, I'm fixing it now. <laughs> Oh, good morning, Ari. Look at you in your little sweater. Look at you in your little sweater. Hi. All right, I guess that was the end of the how-to video. Hey, come here. I have renamed all your animals today. I know. I just called. Come on. What is his name? Stanley. But I like Stanley. I just called Sydney. Sydney? Well, see, you guys obviously watch my privacy video, so everyone's right. just, it's alternate I'm names. Healthy. I'm healthy now. It's aliases for my animals. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like J is for real. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Scott, Tom, Ted, whatever. Just name me whatever you want. Stanley. Stanley. Look. Come here. Come here. Stanley. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Come here. Magnum, come here. Come here. Hey. Come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Magnum's like, why is the cat getting those? I don't know. You can see he's not used to being an outdoor cat. He's like everything's a little, everything's a little. And they're gone. <laughs> How many was that? And you slimed me. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, of course he did. Come here. We are viewing the predator in its natural habitat as he stalks his prey. Okay, so everyone's leaving. I forgot to get the goodbye on camera, but Scott and Terry are leaving. Carolyn, camp director, we're renaming her camp director. 
because she is determining the pace that it is time to go now. So Carolyn already said goodbye. Oops. Here. There. We can't really see through the windshield, but... He's gonna poison your cat with his dog. Huh? He's gonna poison your cat with his I know. Dog. Come here, Stanley. Come here, Stanley. Come, Come here. <laughs> Come here, chubby butt. Alright. So we're saying goodbye to everybody and bye-bye, Aja. Alright, we'll see you on the road somewhere. Definitely. Don't procrastinate. Get your stuff done and get on the road. We won't be that far. It'll take They're us They're cracking the whip on me. <laughs> Between the camp director and I don't know what camp motivator, camp cheerleader. I don't know. Right. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's pushed the tab. He's like, I'm never and, eating, I'm never eating. And Magnum's only interested in food, so he's camped over here at the treat wagon, <laughs> at the lunch wagon. Do you have him? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, so the he's camped out over here at the lunch wagon because Terry keeps feeding him, so he doesn't even want to leave the back of the rig here. That's kind of my thing. I'm the, I'm the camp, camp cook. The camp cook? See, we are all getting new titles. I don't know what yeah, mine is, no, but camp cook. camp cook, camp director, <laughs> camp cheerleader. I don't know. <laughs> camp I don't know what that me leaves me to be. Raw, 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 Aja. I gotta be the damn cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what my role is. So. How about we make Stanley the camp cheerleader? <laughs> make him the camp cheerleader? Yeah, he's not very good at it. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Carolyn is like. Let's go! Alright, you want it back? Yeah. And there they go. Well, Aja's not started her rig yet, but she'll be there in a second. Alright, there they go. Bye. Have a good one. Alright, take care. I will. And they're out. So now it's just me. And uh, I'm going to head back to Portland. The only thing I'm waiting on is uh, I'm right in the midst of rendering this video. And uh, when I use my desktop, it runs off of the generator because it's a huge amp draw. Uh, I know. I, I'm going to eventually replace it with a laptop. But this was a situation of using what you already have. And since I already had this when I was in a sticks and bricks I just brought it with me and it was the most powerful machine for editing but it does require that I either be plugged in to shore power or plugged into the generator and so since I'm in the middle of rendering the video which is the last step before uploading it on YouTube uh, I'm just gonna finish doing that before I leave the rest area here because uh, I'm running the generator right now as you can see so as soon as this video is done, then I will shut the generator off, pack the generator up, and head back to Portland. So uh, I'll see you guys soon. All right.